All right, today I'm going to show you how to take out and replace the magazine release on a Glock. This is a Glock Gen 5. It'll work on any Glock. The Gen 4 and the Gen 5 are ambi, so you can put the release on either side. Um, first thing you want to do is take out the magazine. Make sure that your gun is not, not loaded. Then you want to take off the slide. So to take it off, I'm lefty. I'm just going to you take your dominant hand. You pull back on the slide a little bit here. Then you pull these levers down on both sides. I can get them. Then you know you can let go of the slide, pull the trigger, and it comes right off. All right. Now we're gonna look in here, and inside you will see that little pin there. Now the tools you will need is flathead screwdriver, small small in size, and it helps to have also needle nose pliers. All right. So you see that little pin right there. That pin is kind of like a spring. You have to push it away from you, and also out to remove it from this little groove that it's stuck in that's holding the magazine release. This silver thing right here all the way around is, the, is this mag magazine release. It's an aftermarket one. So which you, you, it takes a bit of force, but you go ahead and get the screwdriver in there. You need to push the spring away while also lifting it up so it, gets, it comes out of that groove. So you push, takes it, takes it, and there you go. You see now that the spring is out of the groove that it was in. Once that's done, you're gonna take these pliers and you can just yank out the pin. There we go, there it is. Then you can remove your magazine release. Um, I replaced this one not too, not, too, not too long ago. It's pretty badass. You wanna thread it through the side, the opposite side of what you're gonna use. I'm lefty, so I want the release to be on, on the right side of it. If you want it to be on the left side, you would put it in from the right side into the left, and it would be and be on that. It would be you know for for the righty. Anyways, now to get it back in, you're going to take the same pin with your pliers. You're going to find the groove, find a little hole, and you're going to push it back in right there. And then you need to grab your pliers and push it in till it goes click. There we go. It's pushed back in. I've got to push the spring over, the pin spring over so that it gets locked in back into the groove where it came from. There we go. Back in. Alright, so as you can see it's back in where it came from. And it works. And then to reassemble it, Pretty straightforward to get the slide back on. You have your grooves here. You put them on the very front, line them up, and then, oops, and keep, make sure you're keeping it flat. You run it up, there we go. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content, and I'll see you in the next one.